a love and hate relationship with jeans. Finding that perfect pair of jeans, you know, that has perfect fit in the waist, butt, thighs, legs, length, color, is difficult. So my journey to finding the perfect pair has been a long, grueling, painful, difficult time. But after years of failure in the change room, with much hard work and determination, I was rewarded with my successes. <laughs> I'm actually kidding, only like four of these are successes, the others are my failures that I just decided to keep because I'm a hoarder. Oh, and I just want you to keep in mind that I'm still a college student, okay, with minimal income. Don't have a job right now. I can't afford those like amazing jeans that everyone has that cost like 300 bucks each. Like, that's just unrealistic for me. Also keep in mind that I have short, 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 short legs for my height. I'm 5'4 and 163 centimeters. And I typically have a size 26 waist most of the time. A very muscular build with very large calves. Because genetically my calves are huge. Why couldn't that have been my butt? I don't know. So jeans typically hate me. Anyways, on to the pants. So, Denim Forum, which is Aritzia's denim brand. I love Denim Forum because they aren't too pricey, which is always good, but they have amazing quality and an amazing fit. I don't really believe in skinny jeans, so I don't buy them, but I do love a good wide leg pant. Most of my jeans are, you'll see that upcoming. They look the best on me. Nothing against any other pant. Except I hate skinny jeans. The best wide leg pants I've ever come across are the Ferris. A beautiful pant, so comfortable, so flattering. And I keep in mind before buying them, they do have a tendency to stretch the more you wear them. Most jeans do, but these especially. So I would recommend if you're in between sizes, go for the one that is tighter because the more you wear them, the more they will stretch and fit your body. You know I love them because I have them in blue, black, and white. That is how much these jeans speak to me. I wear them with heels and they give an illusion that I actually have longer legs, which is crazy. And I love it. Or I wear them with sneakers and I just let them sort of drag down a little bit and it gives the kind of bell-bottom long jeans hits floor type of vibe amazing moving on so the only other denim forum pants I own are the Arlo's I've seen these jeans styled on other people and they are gorgeous okay so fitting so flattering but on me my legs kind of look like but if I wear them with heels, I've realized they're awesome. They look great. My legs look normal length. They are a super casual everyday jean. And honestly, they're probably the most classic straight leg jean I've ever tried on. So they are straight legs. They're cropped and they're high waisted. So if you have longer legs, they'll hit you around the ankle. If you have my legs, they'll hit you on the bottom of your foot. But if you are looking for a really classic good pair of straight jeans, I would definitely recommend these ones. So I've never liked a Goldie jeans. Please don't kill me. I'm sorry. If you're not familiar with a Goldie, they're like the super expensive, high quality, nice denim brand that is sold at Aritzia. I've always tried them on being super excited and then I try them on and I'm like, the quality is definitely there, but I feel like they're just not made for legs like mine or butt like mine. <laughs> if you have normal or longer legs, get these jeans, you will not regret it. But for the price, you want to make sure that you try them on first and that you're 100% going to love them before committing to them because you don't want to be spending like $300 on a pair of jeans that are like not your favorite. But I don't own any like baggy ripped jeans. They've been really trendy recently and these jeans were calling to me. So I got them and I do love them, but I have nowhere to wear them to now. Also I spent $300 to wear them on YouTube, but that's besides the point. I would definitely recommend sizing down. I'm usually 26 and I got these and my shorts in a 24. So size down two sizes, but I highly recommend just trying them on before you buy them anyways. And they are long. They're long on me. They're long on taller people. They just are longer jeans and I'm totally fine with that. I love styling them with sneakers and have them sort of draping down, but I think the most ideal way for me to style them would be with some heels. So those are the A Goldies. Now, moving on to my Levi wedgies. And to be honest, I don't even know if these are wedgies. They're not really mine. They were hand-me-downs from my brother's ex-girlfriend. So they don't even fit me. They're a size too small, but somehow I like managed to squeeze into them. 
They're very tight though, but I, I like the way they look. If these weren't given to me for free, I don't think I would have purchased them because the straight leg vibe, as I mentioned with the Arlo's, doesn't really vibe with my legs. But Levi Denim is great as always, it'll last you forever, it's super tough, great quality. And also, very true to size, get the size you always wear in pants, because that's how they fit. And I always appreciate the way Levi's make my butt look. Thank you, Levi. But if you really want your butt to look good, Levi's ribcage jeans are the way to go. Thank you, Levi! These are my favorite jeans in the world. Well, the best jeans I've ever worn. I have two now. I just bought one. You can go watch my Ritzia haul. Best jeans for not only any short stubby legs like mine, but any legs out there. The fit is snug, but not too snug. The quality is great. Very hardy denim. The more you wear it, the more it fits like a glove. Very true to size. Beautiful selection with the colors and the rib cage comes in multiple different kinds. The rib cage just, I think, is how high the denim goes on your hips. The options are endless, but there's like a balloon rib cage, there's straight leg, there's frayed, there's ripped. The rib cage is perfect for shorter girls like me. It really gives the illusion that you have longer legs. Okay, okay, just get these jeans. They're amazing. Okay. Urban Outfitters. So Urban Outfitters carries a line called BDG, and that's their like denim brand. And when I was in high school, Urban Outfitters was like the shit. Everyone who is someone shopped there. So I was like, I need to be someone, I need to shop there. And I bought their mom jeans, because back then that was the thing. And just no. Like my opinion on BDG, uh, and I bought a ton of jeans from there, probably like four or five. That's a ton for me. Jeans are expensive, okay, as like a 15 year old. And their jeans are very, um, uh, I just think they're just not for me. So we'll talk about the mom jean first, because I bought a mom jeans and a pair of skinny jeans. You already know I made a mistake. I used to have three pairs of these. One was black, one was black ripped, and one was this one. I sold the other two because I hated them so much. They just made my butt look unexistent. The length of my legs just aren't flattering in their jeans. The material of the BDG denim is much thinner. You can tell if you compare the Levi's and this that the Levi denim is much thicker, better quality. The BDG does look great on some people. I've seen them I'm like, wow, that looks good on you. But then other times when I look at myself, I'm like, no, they don't look good on you at all. We don't have to talk about that anymore. It makes me uncomfortable. Trying this pair of jeans back on after about three years of not wearing them brought back the worst memories ever. I bought these jeans originally because I wanted to wear them to parties in high school. Already terrible sentence. But these are just like not flattering on my body at all. I'm sorry for even like showing them to you. I have made a lot of regretful purchases. I look wrong in them. Maybe with heels we can make it cute, but the rips are just kind of like aggressive and like sketchy. I'm sorry, like I'm just trying to be honest. I, I feel really bad saying that. I bet tons of people look great in these jeans. I just, not for me. We don't, we don't, we don't super like these. And I think I've worn them like a maximum of five times. These ones were like one of those jeans where like you had to buy and then like, that you bought as, I don't even, I can't even explain it, I don't know. I don't know why I bought them. So my last pair of jeans I'm gonna show you guys is my only successful denim thrift. And I've thrifted a lot of jeans. And I'm always like, I'm gonna make these look so cute by DIYing them and cutting them into shorts. And blah, 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 blah. No, lies, all lies. You are a liar, Linda. Listen to me, Linda. Sorry. They are perfect on me. I wasn't a fan of this detailing. There's like this brown detailing on the pocket. And I was like, these are strange. I don't like them. But when I tried them on, I was like, they are made for me. It's just like a casual mom jean and they fit my waist perfectly. It's like they were made for my stubby legs. I don't even know what brand it is. There's no brand, but it just goes to show you that sometimes you're gonna come across an amazing pair of jeans without even looking for them. And other times you're gonna try on 300 pairs that you all hate. The denim journey is a long one, but you gotta be patient, you know? It's all about the journey. It may be long, but it's a rewarding one at the end. Because you're gonna have three pairs of jeans that you like and ten others that you hate. 
So because this video is pretty short, because I don't have many denim pieces, I'm not a very big denim girl, I'm gonna show you the rest of my denim items and my wardrobe. Denim shorts and I have a separate journey. Let's start with American Eagle, the evil denim store for high schoolers. They have snagged so much money out of my pocket for probably like the worst jeans that I own. I used to love them in high school. When I just started high school, I was like, American Eagle, yes! But no, it's just not my style anymore. The denim is not good. But I do have a few denim shorts left from them because as I said, I could never find a good pair. So I'll show you them. So yeah, no, just no. No, 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 no. To be honest, these ones aren't that bad. <laughs> Moving on, Abercrombie and Fitch. I have one pair left from Abercrombie and Fitch that fit, and these were from years ago. And no, again, just no. But I have heard that they recently stepped up their game and they have some really great denim, so I would definitely recommend checking them out. I'm not gonna check them out, but I have heard some pretty decent reviews. So. I was just unlucky with whatever those were. Lastly, my new pair of Igoldies, yes. Slay a Goldies, yes. I don't have to go on about these shorts anymore. I've mentioned them in every single video. They are the holy grail of denim shorts. If you want to compare denim shorts, that will last you a lifetime, forever, amazing quality, amazing fit. Get the a Goldies, just do it. I'd rather have these shorts than five pairs of the American Eagle shorts, and that's how much they cost, but worth it, worth it. And now the only denim skirt I own, it's from Aritzia as well. I barely wear it anymore. It's sometimes cute, I sometimes go back to it, but it's not really me anymore. But it's, you know, it's there. It's a denim. Now these aren't even pants, but they're denim. So I have three denim jackets. This one is from Urban that I cut myself. Uh, there's this one cropped Brandy Melville one, which is okay. It's a little too long for me. It's a little too ripped for me, but it's decent. And then there is this one. I thrifted this Levi jacket. And if I could just give you one tip about denim jackets, if you want like a nice baggy denim Levi's jacket, thrift it. It may take you a few weeks to find a good thrifted denim jacket, but you can't recreate a fit like that because once you find the right one, you're never going to let it go. Those are my jeans. Whew. Trying on denim is very tiring. Yeah, that is my denim collection. I did this video because I thought it'd be fun to show you all the terrible jean choices that I've made over the past few years. It's made me reflect a lot on my actions and regret a lot of things that I've done in the past. Gosh, some clothes can just bring back some horrible, terrible memories. But yeah, anyways, as always, I always appreciate every single one of you guys. If you would like, please comment, subscribe, like the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Hi. <laughs> okay. I'm ready. <laughs> and I can feel those butterflies when I go to sleep at night.